Welcome to the Cantina Chatter Podcast. Turn up your nostalgia. everyone, and welcome back. I'm Victoria, your host here on the Cantina Chatter Podcast, your resource for Star Wars, new and retro toys, pop culture, and randomness from the 80s and 90s. Hey guys, and welcome back for another episode. Uh, It's great to have you back here on uh, the podcast, and uh, uh, The Mandalorian is now out. Uh, I saw the first episode last night. Oh my goodness, this is freaking cool. Um, I can't wait to see more episodes to see, you know, what the overall impact of The Mandalorian is going to be on me and on Star Wars, but I can say with confidence that I am absolutely on board with the direction it seems to be going in and, uh, you know, what they've done with uh, this character so far. It's very early. But um, I'm stoked about it. It was so, so, so good. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked for the next episode. Can't wait to continue watching it. So um, in this episode, I will be joined by Tom Chorlton. We're going to be discussing new releases from Hasbro Star Wars that were announced at three separate conventions taking place in Europe. There's a lot of stuff on the way. Some of it is good. Some of it uh, is interesting. And uh, you'll hear what I have to say. You'll hear what Tom has to say. And, uh, you know, of course, you can formulate your own opinion. We'll also be touching on Q&A from questions that we receive from social media regarding these new releases. So sit back, relax, turn up the volume, and uh, let's get into these new Hasbro Star Wars reveals. All right. It's finally November. It's, it's time has gone by so quickly, but is it going to be a November to remember or is it going to be a November to forget? I think uh, retail is forgetting that a new Star Wars is coming out next month. What do you think, Tom? Well, geez, I don't know. I heard that as soon as Triple Force Friday arrived, the uh, stores are going to be flooded with all the new merchandise from the new movie and the new video game and the new novel. No, the Mandalorian. And uh, yeah, that kind of landed with a thud, didn't it? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's really weird um, because this is the first like yeah, they made a big deal triple force Friday. They've been talking about it Woo! since last spring. And they said, you know, we're going to pull out all the stops uh, promoting these three media events that are occurring, uh, you know, later this year. And, uh, you know, we expected this big, you know, whoop de doo And uh, what's going on? I, I you saw the picture that I posted from Twitter earlier today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was bone dry at Walmart. Uh, just those stupid gold figures and those lightsabers that nobody's buying. Yeah, that's uh, rubbish. Rubbish. Those gold figures are rubbish. Um, and those lightsabers are great for, you know, the kids. The kids love those things, but um, mm. they, they, they they probably already got them, you know? It's not like you can... I don't know how many times you can sell a kid another... Well, right. never mind. You, you can... There's new kids popping out all the time that want lightsabers. But yeah, for us collectors, it's... um. It's like the Sahara. Yeah, and you know, it's not much better at Target. If I go into Target, I'm going to see the same selection, uh, except instead of the gold figures, it's just going to be a lot of vintage collection Snokes. Good old Snoke. Yeah, old um, man Snoke. Been rotting on the pegs for well over a year, literally. Yes. <laughs> so so sad. Love you that want, You want to know why do. Snoke looks the way he does? It's because he sat on the pegs at Target for so long. And no one fed him. It's so sad. <laughs> Feed Snoke. Someone feed Snoke. I mean, I don't even own, you know, I should just go and buy another one and cut him in half for that inevitable display, right? I've not <laughs> done that. I, I Since I'm here in New York City, I don't go to the retail shops very often. Um, when we take a trip somewhere, we're taking a trip to South Carolina and then New Orleans next week, so that'll mm. be fun. Um, so in South Carolina, I'll get a chance to check out some Targets and Walmarts, nice. hopefully. Yeah. But uh, the we've had a couple trips recently, and yeah, I think... 
the we went to a Walmart right after Triple Force Friday, and the whatever display was already gone. Um, huh. They uh, they had a bunch of X Wing pilot Lukes, um, but they also had the Jabba the Hutt uh, skiff and the the playset. So I was able to pick up the playset for my friend Jason, who uh, didn't own it yet. So he's uh-huh. got that now. But um, yeah, that was about it. Um, I guess they had some of the Black Series stuff there too. Um, yeah, they they certainly did. But uh-huh. um, the other shops I went to, I went to Best Buy the other day to see if they had new IG eighty eight or IG eleven. Um, they did not, um, but they did have a bunch of X wing pilot Luke vintage collection, as did um, Forbidden Planet Union Square. Yeah, yeah, that that seems about what I've been seeing around here in terms of uh, vintage collection. If it's not Snoke, then uh, basically it's going to be that Luke X Wing pilot that's been hanging around. Yeah, that that's uh, yeah, that's 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 what's there. That's the one that no one wants, I guess. Yeah, um, or overshipped. Maybe they just overshipped it. I see X Wing uh, pilot Poe as well, just not as many of him. Yeah, I, I might have um, seen him all like the other once. Stuff's gone. I might have seen him like once. I think I saw Ray maybe like twice, and I, don't I just think I've saw... seen Ray. I just saw the jet trooper, um, the Sith jet trooper. Where did I see that at? I don't even remember. I saw it somewhere. Um, mm-hmm. I guess it had to be Walmart or Target because those are the only places that carry this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been really dry. Uh, you would never know that a new Star Wars film is coming out in December, nope. you know, by the looks of it. I mean, it's just so bone dry. Like they have plenty of, I think you mentioned it earlier, like Fortnite. And they've got plenty of, um, you know, stuff that's not Star Wars basically yeah. that doesn't have a movie coming out <laughs> you know next month um it, it's kind of shocking and it's really like it's sad i mean i know the stores uh, you know we've seen it a lot we've heard it you know we we see the posts about you know places like five below and you know all these other weird bargain bin or whatever they're called that mm-hmm. are receiving the you know places i don't have here that are receiving yeah, like all these you know random old star wars toys and you know selling them like dirt cheap raw stores are doing it tj maxx yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm not too surprised that retail is kind of playing it a little bit safe, but uh, they're, they're really not striking that balance. They're playing it way too safe when you go into a store and it looks like a desert. Or it's just that the demand isn't there right now and it's it's relegated to some of us older folks, you know. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but at this point, the, the toy situation is a desert enough that I, I can't. I can't argue against it, you know? It looks like there's new neat stuff from this movie. It's not like The Last Jedi where it's just, you know, what were the new characters in it? There's a couple new characters that get blown up in the first couple minutes and uh, uh, the guy in the prison, DJ, uh-huh. um, who I, I like the character, but he's, I, I don't I don't really need an action figure of him. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this one, like, uh, we don't know anything about any of these characters yet. I haven't even gone all in on these things yet because I don't know. Am I going to, is Zori Bliss going to be a character or is she going to be like DJ? Is right. the uh, the the flying Sith stormtroopers? Is that anything other than the, uh, you know, one of the new stormtroopers that showed up in Solo? It's in like one shot, and that's it. Right. Eh, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about a lot of these characters is that they've kind of you know like given us the shaft essentially, like the last 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 few movies you know you know hyping up all these characters captain phasma and yeah. you know snow troopers and you know all, all these you know characters leading up to the film and then the film gets here and like they're barely even in it right. so i think they've kind of you know trained us at this point not to expect big things from these characters and perhaps you know if, if there is an issue with demand um that's part of the reason why it's that you know they i mean obviously they make changes in these films right like Hasbro mm-hmm. doesn't know what the final film's going to be like, and, you know, things change. So um, it's understandable, but, I mean, it's also understandable for people to, you know, not really be, you know, too aroused by a lot of these these figures. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't I can't say it better myself. That's That certainly seems to be the case. Um, I, I don't, I just don't think the demand is there right now. Um, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love all of it still, but... You know, we're also about to talk about um, some of the new reveal stuff. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, a, a character that, you know, even a, a really second rate character that came out in a thing I saw like 15 years ago, I'm more excited about than the new Knight of Ren that I, I don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so it's it's yeah, I guess we can when we get into the reveals, I'll, I'll go into more of my feelings on that. But it's basically that really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, sounds good. I also solicited on a Twitter, Facebook, Instagram for folks to send in their questions for us that we were going to be recording this afternoon. Here we are. And um, we have a couple, uh, not a ton, but we do have a few questions here that people are curious about. So we will get into those. And yeah, so, all right. So there have been these events going on in Europe that Hasbro has been attending. So one of them is Paris Comic Con that was Mm -hmm. going on uh, at the end of October. And then there was also a Luca Comics and Games convention. And then after that, there was a Barcelona manga convention. So these are the events that Hasbro has been attending. They've been showing these new figures that are going to be coming out um, next year. And uh, there's been a lot of excitement for some of them, but there's also been a lot of disappointment and backlash for some of them as well. So what I want to do is kind of go through those reveals and um, we can talk about, you know, whether or not we're excited for them or, you know, depressed by them. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Start off, start, start off with them. All right. So should we start with Black Series or do you want to go Vintage Collection? Let's start with the Vintage Collection. Let's end on a high note. Let's end on a high note. Sounds good to me. Okay. So Vintage Collection, um, you you know, it's kind of been a little bit of a bumpy ride. They've been doing what they do really well. They excel at what they've been doing pretty poorly. They suck at. Um, The line came back last year with a slew of repacks that have, you know, like I was saying a little while ago, Snoke's, they're still riding on the pegs. I think Snoke was part of that very first wave of Vintage Collection. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it two um, years ago that the, the, the new one started it, coming back? I think it was, was it just one year ago? It was April of last year, so like a year and a half. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, geez. But yeah, those are still sitting out there. Yeah, they're still out there. The the, the card backs are falling apart. They have tape on mm-hmm. them. They're ripped. They have dust on them. There's there's no excuse for that presentation. The, these stores are big on, you know, the way that they, they're perceived, yet, you know, they just let stuff rot on the pegs. It's really sad. Yeah, um, they don't care. They don't care. It's kind of the same thing we saw at Walmart. They had a lot of old ass black series that were, you know, <laughs> becoming covered in like an inch of dust. And right. finally, like around here, they clearance them out, you know, a couple months back for like five bucks. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. probably why they're not carrying them anymore because they couldn't sell them. Dump um, them into the dump them into the toys for tots bin so that uh, every every little kid gets a gin urso for uh, Christmas. Yeah, well, the small Gin, parts. Gin, and Snoke. We don't want them to, to choke on small parts. Maybe that's why. Oh, good, true, fair enough, fair enough. But still, get rid of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Vintage Collection. Um, they've been doing some things really well. We got the barge this year. We got the skiff. Mm-hmm. We got the... Oh, God. What else did we get? We got some Jabba's Jabba's... Play set? We got Jabba's playset. The which, whole batch of characters exactly, along with it. The skiff exactly. guard set, yak face. Um another Klaatu guy like yeah, wow we got an That's awesome so cool yeah an awesome new stormtrooper they're doing really good stuff with luke skywalker um mm-hmm. but you know here they come to these three new conventions and for vintage collection not really anything new i think in fact every single thing they showed us was a repack mm, no we got we got a, i think at the paris one they showed we're getting the mandalorian and cara dune okay well those know, Two. We kind of expected those. We <laughs> yes, expected yes. them. That, those weren't a surprise. It's not thinking far outside of the box there. Put your two main characters out on the card. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, then after that. Yeah, and if we're honest, those should have been out on Force Friday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 2020, yeah. like, I think it's like April they're due. It's like, yeah, it's come on, guys. Something of, yeah, yeah. The, the show's going to have left everyone's public conscience by, yeah. the, by like, months. Yeah, yeah. it says um, here, do April 1st, 2020. Good. You certainly don't want kids getting it for Christmas, guys. It's like Resistance that we had to wait like months to get those figures after the se- season one had come and gone. Uh, I, 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 it just, it just boggle it. It boggles my mind. This is, this is Christmas is next month. You got your new Star Wars out in theaters next month. You're not gonna. You don't want to maybe have a presence there for Christmas. You just don't. Right. Maybe they just don't care. Maybe they just yeah. Yeah. Maybe no, the infos come back and everyone says ah we don't care anymore. That's so that, Hasbro's like, all right. Yeah, I mean, and that's possible. I mean, and you know, I don't want to sound like we're venting, which we obviously are, but I mean, you know, we a little. We people that have listened to this though before know that we absolutely praise Hasbro and they do great stuff. And like I said, they've done a lot of great stuff this year. 
Oh, wait till you get to the the, the Black Series reveals. <laughs> exactly. But like, you know, we're also going to, you know, kind of call them out when they're not doing, you know, something that's very great for the line. You know, it's like like Luke said in the the cockpit of the, the Falcon, you know, I care. I care. <laughs> sell, sell me the stuff, guys. <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Yeah, it's uh... anyway. Um, so other than Mandalorian and Cara Dune, everything else or Cara Dune, everything else was, uh, you know, repacks and these yeah. are, and, and you know what? Good repacks. Absolutely. Makes sense. Repack them. Uh, Emperor's Royal Guard. Yeah. He came out in black series. If you repackage him on vintage collection, he's going to sell or she's going to sell. I don't know what their gender is. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all right. Stormtrooper. I, you know, okay. So there's this new <sighs> remnant stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. Uh-huh. I don't really know what remnant <laughs> stormtrooper means. It sounds weird. Uh, it's the Imperial remnant. That was what the, the old terminology was in the expanded universe for the, um, after the empire fell at Endor, um, the, what was left over of the empire, they called it like the remnant. So, so I think that's probably what it is. Okay, so maybe that's guess. maybe that's what it is. It's basically uh, the beautiful stormtrooper they released earlier this year, with, but with battle damage on it, or you know, dirt on it. Um, fine, yeah. I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> but the rest of them, <laughs> what do we got? We got we got a uh, Bespin Han, right? Okay, we got Bespin Han. They should have released that one earlier this year when they released, you know, that Bespin wave with the repaints. It was Han, oh, Leia, yeah. Vader, and, and Luke. This Han yeah. should have been in there instead of, you know, that other Han because that, that other Han was a huge peg warmer back in 2010. Yeah. Um, that whole wave, in fact, was very, very heavy uh, that year. Oh, yeah. It, it strikes me as nuts that, that that stuff all goes for so much now because at our local shops, that was there for a long, long time back then. Yeah. But, you know, The Force Awakens hadn't brought Star Wars back yet, so. Right. So. What do I know? Yeah, I mean, they ha- they obviously could have done a better Han, it, you know, rather than just bring this one back. They have a better, you know, six-inch sculpt at this point. They could scale that down. That's probably never going to happen now that they're mm-hmm. doing this. Um, but, you know, this Han figure, from from what they showed, and, you know, they sent me the the images, the, you know, the official images, it doesn't even look like they took oh. the time to, to to take new photos of these figures. It looks like they're recycling photos from 2010, 2011. So basically, uh, it's just the photos without photo reel and really sloppy paint apps. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to get my set. Yeah. Um, I can't promise that I won't buy some of them because I, I don't quite recall which, like, which Han I've got in my modern vintage collection stuff. Um, yeah. I've got an original vintage Han on the Return of the Jedi card back, but right. he's the best Ben Han, so he's got the cool, you know, he's got the cool outfit. But, um, yeah, so I, I might get him. I might not. I don't, it, most of it looks like a big pass for me, though. Yeah. You know, I'm just really confused because, I mean, okay. I mean, like I said, some of these are fine. Like Maul, you know. Maul's he, a good one. He's a good one. He's not that expensive on the secondary market. He's maybe like 30, which, okay, 30, but, you know, they could have put a new figure in there or repack something better. So, right. I mean, you know, Darth Maul sells. I'm sure he'll be fine, but all right. Yeah. Some of these other ones, like, okay, this Luke, or Luke, Anakin from the Clone Wars. Oh, yeah. Great figure, but this one was not hard to find, no. you know, when it came out. Yeah, yeah, that was. I don't know how much does that one go for now. I've still got mine carded, so probably about I don't the same as Maul. I would say. Really? Okay. All right. Not, not a ton. Um, Wicket. Ugh, I mean, <laughs> great figure. You know, probably my their their best Ewok figure overall. You know, lots of accessories, but mm-hmm. again, it's Wicket. It's like uh, right. Why? Um, yeah. Clone Wars, <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know, great figure, yeah. once again. You know, one of my favorite figures in the three and three quarter inch line. But, mm-hmm. and, you know, maybe they wanted to tie in Clone Wars because that's coming back. But, I mean, <sighs> come on, guys. Vin- this is vintage collection. You know, update the figures. They have new costumes in, in, in the next season, don't they? Yeah. Um, th- those are still their season one, season two outfits. Exactly. Um, exactly. All, yeah. Here's the, Here's the thing, like, and this is something something that's bothering me a lot about the modern vintage collection, and in particular the repacks. the The old Star Wars line was fun because of how diverse it was, because there was so much weird stuff. And now with the repacks, it seems like oh, it's Han again. 
Oh, it's Luke again. Oh, it's Leia again. Oh, here's C-3PO again. Um, I mean, I'm all for the love for the original trilogy stuff, even uh-huh. if it's not the thing that I'm most excited to get. Um, but give us Squid Head. <laughs> yeah. You know, give us, um, at least they gave us Reyes in the, um, in the Jabba's playset pack. That was it. That was a good repack. Um, Give us repacks of some of those other more hard to get weird, weird characters. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd be much more interested in that than, you know, I'm, I'm pretty convinced the next set of repacks will be it'll be the main characters again, just yeah. in a slightly different outfit. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah, it's disappointing for me. The background stuff in Star Wars was where I always got the most excited. The weird right. background aliens. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, for sure. To, as a yeah. kid, that's always the stuff that, like, really, like, sparked my imagination. You know, thinking about yeah. there's this, you know, crazy cantina out in space. Mm-hmm. And there's all these aliens that are at it, you know, having alcoholic beverages. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, really gets you, like, I don't know. That really it's, inspires me a lot. Like, you know, but. Yeah, it's. It's fun. You've got all. You've you've got one Han. You've got one Luke Skywalker figure, right? And he goes into Jabba's palace. You only need your one Luke Skywalker figure, but you need as many Jabba aliens as possible to show how cool Luke is for taking them all out, right? Yeah. Like that was, you know. If and if I'm someone with my displays, where how I set these things up in displays. I'm not going to have forty five different Lukes up there. I'm probably going to pick one Luke. Uh huh. One. You know, one from the original trilogy, one, you know, the one from the, the sequel trilogy. Right. Um, it's not going to be every iteration of Luke in a display. But that's a, that's also just because I've got a limited space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Um, I mean, part of me wonders is, you know, are they really nervous about, you know, maybe not regaining uh, access to the license in 2020? Um, they've been very quiet about it. You know, we've tried mm-hmm. asking them and, you know, they obviously they can't say anything about it. So right. if, if they renewed it, they would they would just they would announce it or they would be like, yeah, we renewed it. So obviously they haven't or they're still under um, still in negotiations. negotiations probably. Right. So yeah. what I'm wondering is, are they kind of getting cold feet? They don't know what's going to happen. So they don't want to invest too much money in in new figures. That's why we're seeing all these repacks coming. Um, could it be that they're focusing on main characters because they want to demonstrate to Lucasfilm that, oh yeah, we've, we've, we're not taking big chances on things that won't sell. We're getting all the heavy hitters in Luke, uh, Leia, Han, Anakin. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just really don't have any idea at all. Um, it could be that. Um, it could be that they've, they've gotten gun shy because the modern era stuff hasn't been selling as well. Uh, Uh, but the Disney mandate is still stating it's gotta be like, you've gotta be putting your resources into the new stuff. Um, I don't know how that works. It certainly seems like when the Disney buy, uh, purchase happened, there was such a drastic shift in how all of the, the Hasbro management of stuff happened that it's gotta be a major part of it, you know? Um, yeah. if you've got X amount of resources to put into your product line for the year and Disney's mandating, you've got to do all these things, you've got to put these things out. It's possible what's left over is, all right, let's repack Han and, and Luke again. Right. And there, as you said before, they're a safer bet than squid head. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, I mean, it's sad, but, but true. But, you know, like I said, at the same time, I mean, if they're going to be spending so much effort on all these repacks, there are, you know, other figures that they could repack that people genuinely would like to see. I mean, where is Darth Plagueis? I mean, that's one that goes for a lot. Oh, I hope so. I've still got a couple of those on card that I'm going to that I've tucked away for a rainy day. Yeah. I mean, there's there's Plagueis. Um, you know, there, there was some great stuff in that when they were doing that weird like three and three quarter inch black series. Yeah. Time for some some bad stuff, too. But, you know, there was some good stuff that they could bring <laughs> back from from then. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, I don't know what's yeah. going on with Slave Leia, but I mean that would be preferable to you know Hot Leia. I I think that I think that the rumors about Slave Leia are probably true that they're probably not allowed to do that anymore because of the uh, modern backlash against it. Mm, yeah, of course. Uh, I think that I think that sucks. Um, I understand the concerns. 
she got put into a, a, a chain mail bikini and then she got mad so she killed the slug that put her into it i think that's right pretty cool but i do too yeah <laughs> um that's awesome but yeah no i mean there there are pl- if, we, if you look over like you know any photo gallery of the vintage collection you know there are plenty of selections that would make sense to repack figures that are going mm-hmm. for uh, lots of money on eBay. Um, you know, figures that new figures that they could make by just kind of combining old stuff. We've never gotten a realistic um, Darth Sidious uh, from the Clone Wars. Um, that wouldn't be oh. a hard one to do. I mean, they could do that. Slap it on a vintage card back. Just kind of kid bash it a little bit. I mean, you know, there's there's you, possibilities here. What do you mean a vintage collection? Like uh, take the Palpatine head from Episode One Darth Sidious and put it on the uh, Revenge of the Sith Darth Sidious body. Um, yeah, I would probably do something similar to that or, you know, just, I mean, the costume is essentially the same in Clone Wars as it is in like Revenge of the Sith, isn't it? For cities. Right. Yeah. 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 For the, the later seasons one. Yeah. Same yeah. dual outfit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then give I love him, that outfit. Give him the two lightsabers, you know, create like mm-hmm. a Clone Wars inspired like hardback. Oh my God. I'd love that. I'd go nuts for that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not, this isn't like anything they're going to have to spend a lot of money on. I mean, they kind of already have, you know, what they need just kind of, you yeah. know. Um, finagle things around same with like Anakin or Obi-Wan I mean it's not too hard to give us a realistic version of those guys with you know the the clone trooper shin guards or you know right. I mean or you know the what they have on the their arm arms, guards the armor. Right? Yeah, yeah yeah arm guards mm-hmm. yeah so, totally agree so um yeah it's uh it's just straight repacks and I guess the ones that make the least sense to me are like you know C-3PO mm-hmm. um which you know has a bit this is like maybe like the fourth time the C-3PO comes out <laughs> <laughs> and he's tiny if you ever i don't know if you have this one but he's tiny no he's yeah. tiny way too small Ugh. um Ugh. and um you know it's an old figure it goes back to 2010 so when this comes out in vintage collection next year it's going to be a 10 year old figure <laughs> well it was oh no i guess they've come out with c3po since then right but since then they switched back to the lousy five point of articulation line which right died a uh, appropriate death i think yeah for 10 years um, this has been like the definitive quote-unquote c-3po and, and it's not that definitive mm-hmm. um and they're sticking with it apparently you know they have a beautiful um black series version they could have scaled down and, you know made a new one yeah black you series know, one's great we're stuck with this um but perhaps the most perplexing one of all uh and i'm sure you'll agree is this vintage collection general lando figure <laughs> yeah because he just came back out on um the uh in the the small black series line didn't he like two years ago but not only that right. they were going for like four dollars on walmart's website towards the end like when you go yeah, to, when i, I would go I to stores there. Yeah. yeah when i would go to stores like this is all they had was this lando figure like like if, if you wanted to bet on any figure being there it would be this one like they just couldn't mm-hmm. get rid of them so if only there was another lando figure they could possibly give us instead <coughs> bespin han uh sorry bespin lando you know and that's the <laughs> sad thing too is that this is still their definitive lando in this scale i mean it's not a perfect yeah. figure but it's still like the best one well you know i'm no uh they skiff they, guard skiff guard lando that came out earlier this year is the best one i would say yeah he's um, amazing this one's great i i can understand lando's in uh the rise of skywalker they want to get a new lando mm-hmm. out this isn't the way to do it um they need nope. a brand new lando in uh his regular best spin outfit i mean that should have yeah. been done a long time ago the last one was in 2004 yeah it's Come just got swi- it's got lousy swivel arms it's terrible i mean it's 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 yeah <laughs> and everyone yeah, i know will tell you that the torso on theirs is just like mine discolored it turned yellow over the years so oh really oh jesus that's awful yeah where is he they did a black series one like like three years ago yeah and i know that they'll i know that they're gonna re-release him uh when they do the empire strikes back uh 40th anniversary stuff next year yeah of um, course they will and they'll they'll do that with the face print stuff and i'll have to buy him again for that because I saw what the skiff guard one is and it's so darn good well yes um, hopefully hopefully they use the head sculpt from that lando on the one that they reissue because i think it's a much better not just the photo reel but like the sculpt of his head is, oh, is way it? better yes i know it just looks like billy d williams shrunk down but i haven't paid super close attention to the uh the previous Empire Strikes Back one. Oh launch. yeah, I think I compared them in the video review I did for Skip Guard Lando, and yeah, it's immensely superior. The head sculpt. Oh cool. Yeah, well, they'd have to retool it because the head won't swap. I don't think. I tried to do that. 
Yeah. Yeah, they could do that. I mean, they're Hasbro, you know, multi-billion dollar, one of the biggest players in the toy industry. It's not like they can't do that. <laughs> right. Of course. Of course. That's why um, we're getting uh that's why we're getting General Lando repack. Exactly. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. Yeah, so very very frustrating. Um right. yeah, there's a lot of concern obviously with vintage collection where you know the direction it's headed. Um mm-hmm. perhaps they have new stuff that they just can't show us related to the new content, which is understandable, but sure. At the same time, you know, where are <laughs> our updated uh, classic characters, not repacks, you know, our updates to, you know, A New Hope Leia, uh, Bespin Lando, A New Hope Luke Skywalker, yeah. um, you know, Palpatine, you know, we need a super articulated Palpatine from Return mean, of the Jedi. Yeah, I mean, every every one of those they do, it looks awful. Um, like, I had to kit bash mine together. Need a Return of the Jedi um, Emperor, one that looks good, not not some repack of that that weird one with the weird face and the the Wicked Witch of the West Hood. Yeah. Something really good and solid. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the 5 POA one, I know that, you know, you're not a huge fan of it because it's 5 POA, but it right. is a beautiful figure. And I know that a super articulated one would be even better if they if mm-hmm. it looked like that, but was super articulated. So. Right. Yeah. Just take the head from that one and finagle it onto the body of a better one. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be so fine, right? It'd be fine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Hasbro, if you're listening and we know you do listen to the show. Um, come on, you guys. <laughs> Give us the Emperor. Give us maybe, the Emperor. Maybe we'll get surprised with that uh, because he's coming back in uh, Rise of Skywalker as yeah. Ray's dad. As Ray's dad. Yeah, give us, mm. the, give us the Emperor, but also don't kill the line. I mean, these are the kind of decisions that have always hurt the line in the past. The way the Vintage Collection came back with solid repacks almost killed it right from the get-go i think that's why we don't see yeah. these 2019 figures at retail because of the way that that first wave just sat there um, yeah they're still in the stores they're still in the stores so and the new stuff is so good enfis nest uh yak face uh young young han solo like him or not he's a great figure young lando everyone loves young lando never saw that anywhere nope and that's um, a yeah Jeez. They're yeah. excellent. They're excellent figures. They are. They're quality product. They're the kind of things we want to see from Vintage Collection. The problem is that they're not making it to retail. So if you're a more casual collector that isn't constantly following the websites or social media you know, looking for Star Wars toy news, you're not going to know about them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyhow, should we move on to Black Series? Yes, because I'm very excited about the reveals from Black Series. All right. I'm so, very excited about these. All right. So I want to start off with the these Force Effects lightsabers really quick. So these are technically Black Series. Hmm. Uh, so, Tom, at Toy Fair this year, um, you went and asked them about the Kid Fisto Force Effects lightsaber because, you know, they've been repacking Force Effects lightsabers now since The Force Awakens came out. Yes. And, and um, I have very strong feelings about Kit Fisto's lightsaber in particular. Right. So this is one they released. I think it was in 2010. It was a removable blade model, and I actually bought it back in 2010. I loved it. It was great. Oh, cool. Um, beautiful hilt. Very unique. It's the only time that we've gotten this specific design in a Force Effects lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Um, so those have since skyrocketed in price. So perhaps it's part of the reason that they're bringing it back. But at the same time, you asked them uh, at Toy Fair if they were going to be repacking the specific model, and what was their response? Uh, they didn't know that they had such a thing. <laughs> so here we are. How you know we're still in the same year, right? And here it is coming yes. back. So maybe we're responsible for this coming back. Maybe not, but I will say you are responsible for it coming back because I, like Hasbro, didn't know that there was such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> So they reached pretty deep into their Force Effects archives and we're getting not only Kit Fisto's lightsaber, but also Asajj Ventress's lightsaber is returning to the line as well. Oh, that's super awesome. I did not know about that. Um, yeah. Those are super fun. That's great. Yeah, This one also connects. If you buy two of them, it's kind of like Darth Maul's saber. You can actually connect them and make like a long double bladed saber staff. Oh, man, that's super fun. Oh, I'd love to see someone cosplay like that. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do Dooku's lightsaber instead of Ventress's, but... You know, Ventress is a more interesting character. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. Um, but yeah. So also, they can sell twice as many. 
<laughs> potentially right mm-hmm. yeah uh, but yeah this is something that that's been a, a trend they've kind of been doing uh they released earlier this year obi-wan's episode one lightsaber they released mace windu's lightsaber darth maul's came back these are all reissues of the older master replica slash hasbro oh, wow. force effect sabers so um yeah there there there's a high uh you know there there is a market for them if you look at the secondary market you know for these older uh models there's they go for a lot of money kit fistos was going for like five six hundred dollars oh my um, gosh really yeah wow so. that's fantastic oh that's that, that's now i'm super excited that they're releasing them so that people can get it that's great exactly what i'm curious about is if this is going to be because the first one is a removable blade if this one is not that's going to be a huge letdown mm. it doesn't yeah, say know. on the website so i really don't know yeah press release didn't say either so we'll have to um ask them next time yeah, oh we, we didn't know that we used to have removable blades 10 years ago oh oh that's not, sorry that's what they said yeah i mean that that was that's my reaction too i didn't know that they had removable blades 10 years ago i don't think i've ever seen one of those in person um my friend has got a couple of them are the older ones where the blades are not removable so yeah i've, I've never seen one and I, it's still in my mind the removable blade blade ones are sort of a a recent a recent development and the fact that 10 years ago now is 10 years ago now doesn't quite gel in my mind but yeah I yeah. guess it's been around for a while. Yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big as as I've told as as you know, I'm not a big lightsaber person. Um, mm. When I was a kid, uh, the the lightsaber it was like this plastic tube, and it's basically attached to a flashlight. Uh-huh. Um, so it was really low quality stuff, and for the one that you'd you'd play with or be in your costume with, and the ones that my action figures had were colored toothpicks since I lost the little tiny pieces of a cheap plastic that came with right. the original vintage ones so therefore like the specific designs on them have never really they never gel in my head um yeah <sighs> i know it's a big thing of people people love them and they get really into them but it's it's like i can't always tell the difference between obi-wan and anakin's lightsaber which one is this one <laughs> yeah. yeah um yeah, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of the different lightsaber hilts. And um, in fact, I was a moderator. There was this, I think it's still out there. It was called fxsabers.com. Like back when Hasbro was, or actually it was Master Replicas when they were, when they had the license for these sabers. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's when this forum came about because they were really popular. And the mm-hmm. technology got really good, like within a few short years. So I was a moderator on that, on that forum. It was a really, it was kind of a oh, big cool. thing at the time. We're talking like mm-hmm. 2005, like, you know, right. a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenge of the Sith time. Um, exactly. Revenge of the Sith era, which was a fantastic mm-hmm. time to be a fan and a collector. Yes. Um, yes. I wasn't much of a collector back then, but I, I I would visit toy stores from time to time and just poke into the toy aisle to look at the stuff. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of stuff you could buy then. Yeah. Very different than now. Oh, yeah. Very, very. Oh, yeah. Very different than now. Especially anyone that listened to the retrospective I did for Revenge of the Sith last month with uh, Chris from Mm -hmm. uh, the Collector's Hut. Uh, You know, we Mm -hmm. we got into that pretty deep, you know, like how it's just such a different retail environment uh, now than it was back in 2005. And it it really is quite sad, you know, that it's changed the way it has. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so, you know, Force of X lightsabers. I love them. I'm glad that they're bringing them back because... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I had a bunch of these and I did sell them off over the years. So, you know, it's 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 great for them to come back so that I can buy them again. Um, I want them to come out with a Darth Sidious one so I can get that. You know, that's one that was never made. And yeah, I, I, know. I think that would be awesome. And the other thing I want to add is that uh, have you seen, Tom, the uh, the force effects they did for the Kylo Ren, the 2.0 version that just came out the video? No. All right. So, you know how they did a force effects in 2015, right? For Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. My neighbors got it. They went back to the drawing board. They redesigned it. And uh, now it has removable blades. Oh, uh, cool. It also has updated tech. So um, it has a sequential blade, not only mm. like the main blade, but also the secondary blades. Mm-hmm. Um, and it lights up differently depending on how you orient it, whether you face it up or you face it down. It lights up a little bit differently. Uh, huh. It has it now has flash on clash, which is how they they term it in um, you know the force effects community. Yeah. Um, so basically, if you swing and hit another lightsaber, you get like that really film accurate like flash. Oh, um, cool! It's also got the um, the the 
the laser bolt deflection. So if you kind of swing it around, pretend you're deflecting laser blasts, you know, it also does the flash and makes a sound. <laughs> Um, uh, and yeah, I have a custom that was done several years ago for me and it has all these features. So it's not new technology, but it is new technology for Hasbro. Oh my God. And what's also really cool about this Kyla saber is if you take the tip of it and just kind of like press it against something, it does this like, like a light up thing where it kind of like turns like white or blue and it just kind of, kind of like what you see Kylo doing in, uh, the Rise of Skywalker trailers where, you know, the tip of it's just kind of grazing like the surface and you see it like kind of like flashing a little bit. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so it's got some really cool tech that Hasbro hasn't implemented on uh, Force Effects before. Um, so yeah, uh, whenever there's a sale for those, because it's, it's really expensive. It's going for two ninety nine ninety nine. Oh, no, that was not what was at sale at Think Geek. Yeah, so um, the last... Yeah. The last Kylo Ren <laughs> lightsaber, I think, was like 200 So $100 markup. If you already have Kylo Saber, it's kind of hard to justify it. Um, but if you don't or you do have it and you want to buy it again, um, I would wait for a really good sale on that personally. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, I, w- I would fly around trip to New Orleans and uh, have, have a drink on Bourbon Street. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. I would, I'll be right in there at Preservation Hall listening to some, uh, some great jazz and, uh, yeah, sipping on something good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's... Yeah, that's three hundred dollars. That's for a lightsaber. For me, as cool as that is, it's just that's not going to be in my the, the mar- I'm not going to be in the market for that. Um, that's almost a sale barge. But you know, exactly. Sell me another Death Star or sell me a Death Star. Right. Uh, but it does sound really cool. I, yeah, uh, it is. I really want to see someone that's got it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about the figures that uh, are coming out for Black Series that were announced at these three uh, shows. So. This is where the, the real excitement is. So, all right. So we are getting, I think the first ones that were announced were Black Series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a Jedi Knight from Attack of the Clones. Booyah! This figure yes. looks fan-freaking-tastic. Yes, it looks amazing. It looks just like him. It's so good. It's such a good-looking figure. I'm, uh... I uh, you can't see the smile on my face right now, but I hope you can hear it a little bit. I'm uh, stepping back slightly from the mic. Yeah, this I think it uses Qui Gon or, or Mace Windu's like upper torso or maybe the whole body. Um, well, no, it, it can't because Qui Gon's taller than Obi Wan, so just real um, similar looking, probably right. Yeah, but just the tooling of it, it looks like it looks like it could be Mace Windu's like upper torso and arms. Hmm. Um. But yeah, no, th- this is a gorgeous portrait. This is certainly going to be one of their best if if the final product looks like this or better. Yeah, I, I, I'm most of the ones, I think all the ones that have come out since the um, since the uh, the photo reel have come out, I've thought they've looked as good, if not slightly better, than what's been advertised. Yeah. So, I I think it's going to look spot on. I'm crazy excited about it. It looks yeah, great. It I'm does. looking forward to having all the Obi Wan's. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. I just need. Go ahead. No, no, no. You go for it. Go ahead. Well, I now I just want like a photo reel episode three Obi Wan. Yeah. But I'm probably just gonna buy the uh, the Walmart uh, Walgreens exclusive clone one and just swap the head. Yeah, I still need that. I still need that. Yeah. Um. I don't have that yet either. uh, Yeah. That um. That's a beautiful figure too. Um, Yeah, looks cool. Yeah. No. This this is good. I also have the SH Figure Arts one. It's just out of mm-hmm. range where I can't quite see it. But it um, I mean, I don't know. This almost looks better to me. So. I mean, yes. Some of this, some of this Black Series stuff with the photo reel stuff is rivaling Figure Arts. I think. Yeah. The only thing, Tom, that I hope this figure does not have, and this is kind of something they've been doing. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but newer Black Series figures that have lightsabers. Mm-hmm. Um, the lightsaber hilts, you know, they, mm. they only give you one hilt and it pegs into the blade, but the, the peg for the blade is tiny. And I feel like every time I'm going to break it. <laughs> Mine broke the other day. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. It, uh, just the other day I, uh, pulled them all out to start, uh, changing my display here. And I look later and I'm like, Oh no, the, it, it fell out. And it's like, no, it didn't fall out. That's, that's broken clean off now. Ugh. So I had to super glue it on. So yeah, I am in agreement with you. Um, yeah, Obi Wan's blade is is busted. Luckily, I've got a couple other Obi Wan figures, but yeah, yeah, I yeah mean, it's, it's a bummer. All they need to do is include the hilt that has the peg in it already. For you know, that's it. I mean, just like 
just like they've done before, I think, and just how, you know, figure arts does it, you know, there's always an extra hilt that plugs into the, the, the belt and the other one, you know, mm-hmm. it's connected to the blade. So sure. it's, it's, I know it's a cost thing, but it's really silly. Yeah. It's, it's the cost five cents. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah it's, it's very silly. Yeah. So there's also a brand new uh, Attack of the Clones, Anakin Skywalker. And uh, unlike Obi-Wan, this one has not been really, like, gone. This one hasn't gotten any praise at all, I don't think. <laughs> no, the face looks really weird. Um, and I, I've been discussing on social media a bit. I was like, I don't know. I might not get this one. Who am I kidding? I'm going to buy it. I'm absolutely going to buy it immediately yeah, when it comes out. It's 20 bucks. But, it's Yeah, well, 22 bucks then, right? Oh, exactly. But, um, yeah. Well, it still shows 19.99 at the on Hasbro Pulse, but some of the newer ones oh. uh, do show 21.49. Hey, they haven't gone up in price since uh, when 2014 when the line came out. Yeah, that's that's true. I'm not I'm not I, surprised. I mean, for what they're doing now, I don't mind paying a dollar or fifty more. No, I, I thought they would have been 25 bucks three years ago. Right. I was yeah. I was entirely confident of that. It's like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twenty bucks for here in twenty fourteen, twenty sixteen, twenty five bucks. Yeah. Mark my words. I was yeah. wrong. I um, mean, but yeah, pr- I'm totally gonna buy it. Right, and you know, price increases suck, but you always have to put it into perspective. Like it, mm-hmm. in this case, you know, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah. Now I'm not certain, but it looks to me like they're using the previously released um, Revenge of the Sith Anakin body, um, okay. and they just slapped a brand new head on it, um, which is fine. But that body is pretty outdated at this point. Uh, mm. And it definitely could be improved upon. Like, you know, the newer figures obviously have the butterfly joints. They have more yeah. fluid articulation. Uh, yeah. And this, if it reuses that body, you know, fine. They can get by with it. The least they could have done was give us a good looking head. This does not look good at all. Yeah, it's well, the funny thing is, like, I think it's 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 a good looking head. It's not like Force Awakens Poe Dameron. Right. Um, it just doesn't look like Hayden Christensen. Yeah. And the Revenge of the Sith archive one that just came out is so spot on perfect. And the Obi Wans yeah. are spot on perfect. Exactly. Like, I don't I don't understand what happened there. Um it's odd. It's really odd. Uh the figure arts, that's one of them that they did nail right off the bat was their Attack of the Clones Anakin. Yeah. Um so that's you know it, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they should have just taken, like, they should have just copied <laughs> figure arts, but... Yeah. Um, w- whatever. I mean, hopefully it'll improve. There's still time. We know that, like, with Princess Leia. I remember they did a running change uh, a few years back. Yeah, um, and I, I I got the first release one, and I could never justify spending the 12 bucks on the, the new one. Um, yeah, you've got to. I mean, you really... <laughs> you've got, I'll send I, you... I have an extra one here. I'll send it to you. You need... <laughs> you know, you need it. You need it. Uh, I know. The other one is so... A Princess Leia, monkey face Princess Leia is a classic thing at this point. So Yeah, no kidding. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one's weird. It also has, they didn't give him a proper lightsaber. Going back to what we were talking about earlier. Right. I've, I know you say you don't really focus on these things, but I do pay attention to these. because hey, I, I, Everyone else does. That's totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fair. Like I can tell you the difference between various Klaatus and Nictos and whatnot uh, just, sometimes. Yeah. But uh, the lightsabers or the blasters, I can't tell. But other people really care. So guys pay attention to this you got, stuff yeah you got to pick and choose you know where you you know the details you focus on um but yeah. yeah no this is really important to me like this basically is just darth vader's you know the six inch darth vader this is his hilt repainted with more silver um which is not film accurate because that's not what anakin used um mm-hmm. his looks more like vader's from a new hope for one okay. um and uh, the other thing is that uh even though it did um there were still some differences you know between the two like the grips were a lot different um you know it it was just a different like overall like sculpt um Mm. so i mean yeah i guess they can kind of get away with doing this but it's to me it's a a pretty big detail to kind of skimp out on you know especially Mm -hmm. with the fact that they are reusing this well to to me it looks like they're reusing the old body so right if that's the case they really shouldn't have skimped on the accessory and they really shouldn't have skimped on the way the head looks completely agree yeah i well i i think that the head is just a a a a, a screw up somewhere um because like we know they can do we know they can do the the perfect looking heads at this point someone just did something wrong and it didn't it uh like some other hasbro black series stuff recently it didn't pass the qc check um 
but yeah, the the lightsaber hilt. You're right; it's just cheapening out for. Yeah. Not 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 a great reason. It's a. Uh, people care about this stuff. Yeah, we do. Um, it's 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 like ah, we we sold you the King Arthur figure. He came with a staff, not the sword. Whatever. Who cares? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Excalibur saber from Jack Sparrow. Whatever. Just put it in the box. Yeah, it's frustrating. But, you know, a lot of companies are skipping out on lightsabers because even like Hot Toys, you know, Hot Toys, you know, which is known for like, you know, the most film accurate realism you can possibly get in terms yeah. of collectible toys or, you know, figures. Um, they even do this kind of thing. Like they'll give Ray, like I think they gave Ray Luke Skywalker's Empire Strikes Back lightsaber hilt, which, you know, technically, yes, it's the same exact lightsaber. But yeah, in the right? films, the props were different. So the details in the films were also a little bit different. Um, so either I'll forgive that. You know what? I, I think so too. But when you're paying two hundred and fifty dollars for a figure, you want it to be as close to perfect as possible. That's fair. So, anyway, we'll we'll move on from that. We don't want to you know linger too long on Anakin. Um, all right. So they also announced a Knight of Ren. Yep. Um, Looks cool. Now, is this the same Knight of Ren that they recently did in Vintage Collection? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I've got I've got my Vintage Collection one right here. Hang on. This one's different. This one's got sort of like a hood mask thing, and it looks like, uh, I don't know, a hockey mask underneath it. And the other one looks like a yeah. thumb, like a thimble fair face. Is that the thimble face one? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. these are different. I hope this isn't going to be like a Praetorian Guard type situation where, you know, they only do like one in Vintage Collection, and then, you mm -hmm. know, in Black Series, they do a couple, but, you know, you might have to go get exclusive versions to... You know, at Barnes can, and Noble for a hundred bucks to get the the last one, that sort uh -huh. of thing. Yeah, I think you can bet your bottom dollar they're going to do that. Um, but that's frustrating. I'd, well, it would be better if they just release a whole set of Knights of Ren. Here's your four four Knights of Ren. Spend one hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah, there you go. There you, you go. Them. GameStop exclusive and, or mm -hmm. you know wherever exclusive. Hundred bucks, but you get all four. Or how how many are there? There's like five or six, right? I think I think there's like eight. Oh. Well, They're eight. Okay, know. two exclusive <laughs> sets, hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. You get all your Knights of Ren. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Well, and then let's let's hope that they have a presence in the movie. I know. In exactly. fairness, in fairness, like a lot of us, we wanted all the Praetorian Guards because they had a presence in the movie. They were pretty cool. If the Knights of Ren are as cool as the Praetorian Guards, I'll I'll want every single one of them. So, in addition to Knight of Ren, there's also Zori Bliss, who was announced at the same time. Um, you sent me something earlier today about a case assortment that was showing up on Entertainment Earth, correct? Yeah, I think that came from Yak Face. Okay. Um, and it suggested, what was it? It's going to be, I don't have it up in front of me now, but it was like one Knight of Ren, one other character that hasn't been released yet. But the ones that were doubled up were like the Sith Jet Stormtrooper mm. and I think Zori Bless. Um, and I think that's, banking on us liking those characters an awful lot and i hope we do yeah but I mean, i'm i'm not convinced that zori bliss isn't just gonna be dj from the last jedi where she's in this scene and that's it and the knights of and uh the, the jet stormtrooper thing i think that's a flame trooper snow trooper okay first order one like ugh, who cares yeah i'm not too but excited about about those jet troopers no no, I've got to see him in the movie to decide if I'm going to like him or not. Like, I'm not I'm not buying those ones right now. I'll, I'll, I'll wait, and I might just pass. Yeah. I'm not going to pass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you know, on one hand, people were kind of saying the same thing about um, um, uh, Admiral Holdo. You know, she came out earlier this year that they were going to peg warm, and because were they, I don't even remember if they were one or two per case, but I, I didn't really see them too often, honestly. Uh, I've only I've only seen Admiral Holdo at Forbidden Planet, but yeah. Forbidden Planet has everything that's out and available. Okay, so yeah, including I mean, including Yavin, Luke Squawker, and um, <laughs> Jana from Rise of Skywalker, and wow. the Jet Jet Stormtrooper or uh, whatever. Like those wild. are all there. That's wild yeah. that they have those. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I know um, this is uh, this is really interesting. Um, so yeah, two two Zori Bliss. Um, you, you know, I think on one hand, like I said, it's possible that, you know, they'll sell through, they're not going to linger like, you know, that other figure did. But at the same time, mm -hmm. it's like, 
Well, you know, there's there's other characters that they could have maybe put two in instead of Zori Bliss that maybe mm-hmm. would have, you know, been a little bit more of a sure bet. But um Right. Yeah. Well, I guess ultimately, you know, they have better data than we do, so <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm I'll I'll probably buy all of them regardless. But um yeah, we'll we'll see. Because we'll one of the other ones that I really think should be two for for a pack is um was revealed in the next convention. I think the next convention. No, no, it was revealed in the third convention. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself now. All right. Well, let's move on to those figures. So um, I'll start off with the one that was, um, it, it's a repaint. We've gone this figure before, but it's a smart repaint. It is one that we figured would be coming at some point and one that makes perfect sense to release in this part of this wave. So uh, this is the battle droid. Mm-hmm. Uh, this time it has, it's the red variant that we saw in Geonosis. Yep. Um, so you know, yeah, like I said, I'm okay with this. This makes sense to me. They'll sell through. I'm excited for that. I'm going to, you know, I bought two of the uh, first first set of battle droids. I'm going to buy two of this one. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it'll look great in my case. <laughs> it's part yeah. of my separatist army. You Clone know, Wars all the way. You know, um, they, they kind of experiment every now and then with these deluxe six inch, you know, offerings. Like there was a TIE fighter that nobody wanted. Uh, mm. There was the, uh, you know, it's like, it's like over two feet tall. Uh, there's, um, you know, I've like, got it. Do you have it? I have it. There's like race cool. beater. There's uh, the do back, which is amazing. I love the do back. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a tauntaun. There's the land speeder, you know, different things. Um, Enfys nest speeder. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I most of these su- things are great. Th- most of them are great. I'm surprised they haven't done the stap with battle droid yet. I would love to see that. Oh, wow. That would be fun. I'm not surprised they haven't done it yet because they've been so hesitant to touch the prequels for anything. But True. now that we're starting to get a little bit more love for it, which yeah. is, I think, because some of the Disney shackles have been removed, um, maybe we will get one up in the in the near future. I'd buy it. Yeah, I would, too. I think it would be a great looking display piece. And uh, I love the three and three quarter inch one. Like, they, yeah. they did a great. I mean, that's an old vehicle, but they did a great mm-hmm. job with it, you know, back then. And even now it still holds up just fine. Oh, it's so cool! Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's it's. So. Uh, I remember. I remember the excitement for it leading up to the Phantom Menace, being like, "It's gonna be the new speeder bike of excitement." It wasn't <laughs> quite, but it's still such a great design. It is. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's that would be really cool. cool. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. Yeah, we'll have to ask them next time. You'll have to ask them yeah. next time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and they'll they'll tell me we can't tell you anything. That's so. I'll just tell them, hey guys, you need to make this. All right, so then uh, after that, we have Jedi Master Plo Koon. What are your thoughts? I'm crazy excited about that. I immediately screen grabbed that when I saw it on Twitter and sent it to my wife, who also loves Plo Koon, because mm. the Clone Wars made Plo Koon such a great character. Yeah. He looks amazing. His robe is really peculiar looking. Really yeah. peculiar looking. <laughs> but um, half the time, these Jedi aren't wearing their robes in my displays anyway, and I'm guessing in most people's. Um also, like the uh, the even the new Emperor Palpatine that came out from the Amazon pack with the throne, uh-huh. some of the advanced photos of the robe on that, I was still like, eh, I don't know about that, and I think it looks fantastic in person. So uh-huh. I'll 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 wait. I'll hold. I'll withhold judgment on the robe until I'm holding it. Yeah, that's probably a good good suggestion. Um, there's also always the chance that you know some of these minor details can change. I know we were talking about you know venting about the lightsaber earlier from Anakin, mm-hmm. but you know maybe that'll yeah. change. Who knows? The head will change hopefully. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Plo Koon looks great. Um, I'm amazing. really excited that we're getting a prequel Jedi figure. I know we've gotten like Grievous, we've gotten Mace Windu, we've gotten Qui Gon, we've gotten a few you know Anakin, or we got mm-hmm. one Anakin so far technically. Uh, mm-hmm. Obi Wan. Um, this is great. I want to see more of these Jedi figures. The rumors are that we are going to get more of them at some point. But yeah, this yeah. this yeah. is super super cool looking. Like the I'm like like I don't know. There's like a do- dose of nostalgia here for me looking at this. Like this takes me Heck back yeah. to the early 2000s when uh-huh. it was all about the Jedi. And you know this looks awesome. Uh, I mean this this takes me not only back to then when I didn't really like the the material as much because I you know wasn't a big fan of the prequels but like when i got back into collecting like over 10 years ago when the clone wars came out and starting to fill in those gaps and then the clone wars came out and made all of those background aliens characters like they're they're so much fun there's so much love for these characters now um they're like attack of the clones um jedi council members or or are the jabba the hutt 
aliens of the prequels, you know? It's sort of like, a, or um, cantina aliens. Each cantina aliens, like, you know, you always want to get all the cantina aliens. You want to get all the Jabba the Hutt's guys. Now we want the Jedi Council members. Yeah. They have about as much screen time, maybe even less, but they're neat looking and they're weird uh-huh. and sell them to me. <laughs> I know. I'm way, I'm way more excited about both of these two Jedi characters than I am for Sith flying stormtrooper. Like, because I don't know what that is. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same here. I mean, you know, Black Series is, you know, so ripe for possibilities. And I know I've mm-hmm. said this before, and, you know, people get mad at me because I say, you know, Black Series is more exciting than three and three quarter inch, which, you know, I've been collecting this line since 96. I know three and three quarter mm-hmm. is, is, you know, where the history is. I know that's where the line started in 78. Yeah. And, you know, I, I still want more three and three quarter inch, but at the same time, yeah. you know, we're talking about all these repacks. It's because they've done these figures before. <laughs> they've done some of them time and time again, multiple times over. So Black Series, by contrast, is fertile for all these other characters to come around for the very first time. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you get a figure like Plo Koon being debuted in Black Series, I mean, that's mm-hmm. to me, that's just like one of the most exciting things they can do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Basically, everything that was shown overseas at those comic conventions makes it feel like, all right, Hasbro did the thing where they're selling all the modern sequel trilogy stuff to put out for that. Get ready for next year. We're going to jam you full of nostalgia from all the stuff from that, that, you know, were were the movies from like 15, 20 years ago. Get ready for that. You're going to get in on overload. I'm so excited about that. Even though I'm not a big fan of the movies, I still love the designs. I love the toys. <laughs> like, right. You've, they, they've got me. They've totally got me with this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, this this look this looks great. And I, I totally agree with you. In Clone Wars, Plo, Plo Koon was awesome. I loved his voice. The way mm-hmm. he talked. I thought that was yeah. awesome. And, yeah. Was, um, oh, oh, that's so good. Little <laughs> one was yeah, so good. Yeah, he's it was. Per- he's, he's everything we thought a Jedi was going to be when I was a kid. Um, that Plo Koon was what I thought all Jedi would be like. Yeah. And Clone Wars gave me that. Yeah, like that episode with him in the capsule with the clones, and they're running out of oxygen, and mm-hmm. you know, you know, that's that gives you a lot of insight into what his character is like, and you know, just yeah. learning about his connection with Ahsoka, how he discovered her, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I I love that, and you know, you know, getting the lore of you know the characters, and you know, because like 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 we were saying, a lot of the time you just glimpse these things in movies, like yeah. You you learn nothing about Plo Koon in in the films. Like he's just there in the background. You know he gets- yeah he's, he, he's he's chair sit guy number four, right next to to next to snake butt guy and guy <laughs> with with too tall of head. Yeah, and then he just eh. gets blown up in Revenge of the Sith. So that's kind of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor old Plo Koon. Poor Plo Koon. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, this this is great. I'm really excited to see this. Um. Well, it would be a, a really cool bonus, and I know it's not going to happen, but if they included the gauntlet with the, the twin blades on it. Oh, my God. Did that ever show up in the cartoon? Ugh, I don't know. Or was that just the action figure? I, it might have just been the figure. I think it was based on concept art, but yeah, you, either way, <sighs> that, that would have been a cool bonus here, but that, I, I don't yeah, think that, it's going to happen. That was that was a neat toy accessory. That sure was. Yeah. Yep. That just went into my storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, next one, another Jedi, uh, another one to be very excited about. We have Kit Fisto. Yeah. So I have mixed feelings about Kit Fisto. Okay. Um, he looks great. He looks just about perfect. He looks straight out of Revenge of the Sith. The unfortunate thing is, <laughs> go ahead. You know what the unfortunate thing is? Say it. Yeah. Okay. Well. The unfortunate thing is that they redesigned his head between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, and yeah. in Revenge of the Sith, he's kind of ugly. Yeah, he looks like a looks like a squid just dropped on top of someone's head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they had to change the design. I thought it was perfectly fine. So. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I um, I just packed up my as I mentioned before. I just packed up my my big case of three and three quarter. Uh, Clone Wars figures and one of the ones I had to pick up my Kit Fisto from that and I'm like ah imagine this in six inch (laughs) look at look at this this face with this big charming smile in comparison to this sad lumpy thing but it looks straight out of the movie so you know I can pose him with Darth Sidious stabbing him the gut yeah (laughs) I just wish it was the other head Hasbro 
Yeah, me maybe too. you could give us a second head. It's Kid unfortunate, Fisto. but it's Kid Fisto. Yeah, it's yeah. Kid Fisto. Yeah, and I'm st- I'm still excited to get him. Yeah, me too. Still excited for him. You know, still excited. I, for I wish him. it wish it was the other head, but I'm. You know, th- these are these are good. These are good. Uh, th- th- these are good complaints to have at this point. Like, yeah, honestly, you give me the you give me Attack of the Clones one and. A year down the line, I'm going to be like, hey, but I want to have Darth Sidious killing him. Give me the Revenge of the Sith one. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe, um, maybe yeah. we'll get a four pack down the road of yeah. uh, all of them fighting Darth Sidious. Um, all right. So I know that there's one figure here that you are most excited about that was announced. And it looks like it's scheduled for March 1st, 2020. Uh, this is one of the ones at the new price point of twenty one forty nine, like Plo Koon, like the Battle Droid. Um, so why don't you go ahead and tell us about this last figure that we have to cover here? Out of all the Sith Lords that have ever been created, the least interesting and least cool has always been Darth Tyrannus, Count Dooku himself, played by the legendary Christopher Lee. He is never shows up in much of the uh, Sith artwork that comes out there. I don't think there's, I don't know how much of a giant fan following he's got, but he, he got barely any screen time in those movies. He shows up at the end of uh, Attack of the Clones to be, have a lightsaber fight, and he shows up at the beginning of the next one to be killed. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited to get this action figure. I love him so much. Um, I love having any display uh, with the four Sith Lords um, needs to have Count Dooku in it. Uh-huh. He looks incredible. I'm so glad that they waited this amount of time so that his face looks like a shrunken down Nazi killing Christopher Lee. <laughs> um, it's perfect. It's it's amazing. And as you pointed out, because I didn't even notice this, he's got the swinging lightsaber as well, like uh-huh. the the lightsaber that's like in motion. Yeah. Um, I hope they give him a hand that shoots lightning. Yes. Um, but if they don't, uh, oh, he's got a cloth cape. I'm not suffering through another one of those darn plastic capes. <laughs> I hate the plastic capes so yeah. much. Yeah. My wife were here. She would disagree with me, but um, I hate <laughs> the plastic capes. I really hate them. Um, yeah. I'm so excited for Count Dooku. I am too. Um, I think you, you described it better than I could. I mean, okay, so Count Dooku, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's not the most exciting character, but he is yeah. nonetheless a pretty pivotal character in the saga. And... Yeah. He's one that doesn't get a whole lot of love when it comes to the merchandise. Yeah. I think the last time they kind of did a definitive Dooku was back during Revenge of the Sith, like the three and three quarter inch figure they did for that line. Um, Mm. Which they did one for the Evolutions line that same year, which some might like better. And then they retold that figure for uh, one of the Battle on Geonosis sets that were selling at Target. Um, Mm -hmm. But I still think that Episode 3 one is, is the best figure. So, I mean, we're talking almost 15 years ago now. And... Um, this one is, is freaking gorgeous and it's kind of sad that we don't have one in three and three quarter, but this is also like a sight to behold, a very welcome one. Uh, and you know that I have like the, the SH figure arts Dooku and that one isn't a great figure. That's actually a pretty lackluster figure by figure art standards. Oh, that's too bad. I saw their pictures of it and I thought it looked pretty cool. It's okay. It's, it's, mm. there's, it's not that great. Uh, it's, it looks like they basically had a figure that they hadn't released for years. And I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's outdated compared to current, uh, figure art standards, but it's, okay. it's kind of antiquated as a figure. So it's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. It's like they made a prototype and just held on to it for a while before they put it into production. Um, oh, okay. but yeah, it is very lackluster. The likeness is okay. Um, the costume is okay. Uh, they didn't really differentiate between the pant colors and, you know, the torso colors, which, you know, it's, they're different. They should be different. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then the lightning is, it's nice. He does have lightning, but Mm -hmm. it's only like, it's not even like two inches long. It's really short. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is super exciting. This one is definitely going to beat, uh, you know, figure arts from, from what I can tell here. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, as you mentioned, it, this for this is a Black Series first. Hot Toys has been doing it for a while, but this figure is going to come. It's such an easy thing to do. It comes with an interchangeable blade, so you can have mm-hmm. that more swoosh effect where he's swinging the lightsaber. Yeah. Um, that's brilliant. I hope that they start doing that like as a default for any figure that comes with the lightsaber. It would be it would be amazing if they did. I'd never really because I don't pay attention to the figure art stuff. Um, 
I'd never really noticed that before, but I got those NECA Ninja Turtles and they've got Michelangelo that comes with spinning nunchucks. Yeah. And that's, I was like, oh my gosh, what a clever thing to do. Um, so yeah, they should absolutely do it with the lightsabers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. And, and Hot Toys actually, speaking of, uh, just did, uh, they did a Count Dooku a little bit earlier this year, which is, which is really nice. I'm, I've been kind of going back and forth for a long time about whether or not I'm going to get it, but, mm-hmm. um, he looks a little bit young compared to how he looks in the film. So that's kind of the only issue mm. I have with it. But it's a great looking mm. figure nonetheless. Maybe I'll get it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, this Dooku, I think I have to agree with you. It's the most exciting thing that they've uh, announced so far for Black mm-hmm. Series. And, um, I, I, you know, we have to add here that, you know, this this really demonstrates how, you know, both of these two lines are in very different pages from one another. Um, yeah. When you compare Vintage Collection with all of its repacks and mm-hmm. then Black Series with all of the new stuff that is uh, fresh, it's exciting and mm-hmm. it's stuff we don't have. So by default, it's going to be more exciting. But not only yeah. that, it, it by and large, you know, not, you know, discounting Anakin, I guess, uh, it looks fantastic and it's really exciting. Yeah, um, that, that's that's absolutely how I feel about it too. I'm way more excited about Black Series stuff these days than three and three quarter. Um, doesn't mean my... My heart is still with the three and three quarter line. It'll always be there. It's been there for 40 years, but the black series stuff, just they, they, they innovate. They make, they, they, the, the face stuff on it. It looks perfect now. Um, some of these figures, I don't know how you could improve on without creating secret hidden joints, you know? And honestly, the artic- articulation on these is enough. Well, I wish that the Jedi could all hold a lightsaber with two hands. Um, but you know, you can't have everything. Um, but the faces on these things look, look perfect and they're all super articulate. So I love that. I love the articulation in these figures. Uh, that's super, that's always been very, very important to me. Uh Um, so yeah, Dooku, Dooku is, is looks perfect. Shrink him down and slap him on a vintage card. I think all of us vintage fans want Dooku on the vintage card. Yeah, long overdue. I hope that that long happens. Long overdue. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, I'm really going to be enjoying having this figure. I know a lot of people are stoked about it. I know you are. I know I am. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Um, yeah, I say bring it on. Yeah. After that, give me size noodles and the Max Rebo band. Oh, that would be that'd be really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and hit up the Q and A here. Uh, see what we've got. Um, all right. So for uh, Twitter, let's see. We have. Um, at Decky Strikes Back is asking the vintage collection reveals from past weekend. Why is repacks decisions or potential line killers? So, I think we covered this pretty well. Um, we complained a lot about uh, the repacks decisions because they don't seem like smart repacks. They just seem like repacks, and there's not really a rhyme or reason to why they're repacking them. Yeah, uh, or they're just repacking them because these are main characters, and that's all they feel like they can put out right now. But I think that's a mistake. Yeah, I definitely think that's. Uh, a mistake and that's probably mm-hmm. part of the reason other than like i said you know speculating that you know maybe there's something with the license that they're not sure about so you know right. they're trying to play it safe rather than uh, you know ramping up the tooling budget on new stuff that uh, may or may not ultimately make it to retail on time yeah mm-hmm. uh, it's it's a real thing companies do deal with this we're seeing it right now with diamond select and the ghostbusters because that license is going oh, to hasbro yeah. uh, in january so right um they, they were really light on producing the real Ghostbusters um, figures. And mm. uh, some of them are going for a lot of money now on the secondary market. Oh, uh, that's... And those just came out this year, so... Yeah, wow. Okay. Same thing happened with they Bandai. They were really good. Same thing happened with Bandai and the Power Rangers. Um, they, they, like, cranked a ton of them out before they lost the license to Hasbro. Um, so mm. it's, it's a real problem. All right, so on Instagram, Jurassic Dave 93 who is also a correspondent here on a Cantina Chatter for um, Star Wars Television, uh, is mm-hmm. asking us, what are your thoughts on Hasbro killing the 5 POA 3 and 3 quarter inch line? Um, I think we, we talked about this pretty in depth last time when we were talking about uh, Galaxy of Adventures. Right. Um, you know, I say good riddance. Um, 3 and 3 quarter inch, you know, it, it needs to be a vintage collection at this point. I think anything else is is just... It's it's nice that it exists, and I know that we wouldn't get a lot of those characters without five POA. But at the at the same time, I don't feel like I can I don't feel right displaying them with vintage collection anyway. They're they're just the five POA stuff is just so lackluster. Um, like you, I'm happy I've I've got 
that stuff. I've got my uh, solo three and three quarter stuff still out on display. Um, but I want articulation in my figures. Um, yeah. That goes all the way back to me playing with the vintage Star Wars figures when I was a kid and supplementing the line with G.I. Joes because I could pose them in cool death poses as they got flung off of, like, you know, rails to their doom. Um, <laughs> I like being able to pose the figures. It's fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, I prefer if... Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. And also... Just, um, just keep keep giving us vintage collection stuff. Doesn't need to be as many. Right. And also keep them coming. Yeah, and also I um, I'm not sure if you got to check out. Did you check out my review on the uh, the Jedi Luke from Walmart, the Forces of uh, Gal? What's it called? Galaxy of Adventures. I always forget the name. I I've not seen that because I I have such strong feelings against the Galaxies of Adventures stuff. But I will check it out after after we record this. You know, I I did too. I bought this figure, and now I feel different. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't want to watch it, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know. It, it's 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 just one of those things like when I started seeing them in stores I was like okay you know these don't look too bad um I started seeing people post their pictures online I was like yeah they look they look pretty good and you know Disney toy box was doing those Star Wars figures that are kind of the same thing um, yeah these seem I've even, got one of those I've got a couple too and the, these seem yeah. better to me and after mm-hmm. getting that one Jedi Luke figure and I like it a lot. I I don't yeah. love these figures the way I love Black Series or the way that I love, you know, Vintage Collection, but uh-huh. I feel like there's a market for it. I feel like, you know, 5-inch, whatever it is, you know, it's a weird scale, but it feels good in your mm-hmm. hand. It feels nice and solid. Um Feels like my old my old He-Man toys from when I, the, that's that's the scale. Yeah, and the original I mean, He-Mans with that. And it's or Ninja it, Turtles. And it kind of exists in its own continuity, you know. It's like it's it's its own thing. It's separate from those other lines. It's it's anime yeah. influence. So the the uh, the figures look very different than they do, you know, black series or vintage. So yep. uh, I'm on board. I don't know that I'm going to collect the whole line, but um, you know, I definitely. So you get say now. More. So I say no. You know how this goes very well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I don't want to watch your review of it. And <laughs> why I've steered clear of them. Because I, I saw I saw the Finn one. And I think I saw a few of them in the stores. And I saw Finn. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I get sucked into these things very easily. Of course. Um, I, wish that- it was, I wish it was the six inch or the three and three quarter inch scale. Um, then I'd be on board without a pause. You know, um, so. I'm I'm glad that it's separate because I, I like that it's kind of its own thing. It's targeting a different demographic. It's, uh, you know, I, if it were like that other scale, you know, I, then I would definitely feel compelled to get them all. But, you know, right. it, it looks different. Uh, the plastic is, it, they're kind of in weight. It feels kind of comparable to a three and three quarters. So they're definitely using like a lighter plastic. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. So, you know, there are nine ninety nine. That's cheap. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of cool with it now, um, which is a contrast from you know when we first started talking about it, you know, a little while back. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I think Tom, we've we've covered these new reveals pretty thoroughly, and um, next time we talk, uh, I think we'll have seen the Mandalorian, which is coming out uh, next week, or for those listening, it'll be this week. Yeah, I'm uh, I've, I'm gonna have to miss it for a week because I'm gonna be traveling, but I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it the week after. With the second yeah, episode. With the second episode, yeah. I kind of mm-hmm. like how they're doing that. I, I kind of like that. You mean not not dropping it all at once? Yeah, I'm not absolutely. A fan, I'm not a fan of that because people binge it and then they talk about it. And I, I like to, you know, kind of take my time with with series. Digest it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I watch it and it's like, oh, okay, what's next? And yeah, no. that's. Yeah, yeah. You don't get the water cooler moments, right? You don't get to sit exactly. around and talk week to week about it. It's just like, oh, yeah, I watched the whole thing this weekend. This is what I thought. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and I'm a suck. I'm a sucker to the point that like, I will watch it all at once. You right. know, I can't. So parse it out for me, and I'm I'm a happier camper. Yeah, yeah. And no, my husband feels feels the same way. It's like he he mm-hmm. doesn't bin. We don't binge things. I mean, we we mm-hmm. take our time, and you know, he doesn't like binging things either. I mean, we. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't like sitting down for you know ten hours at a time. I mean, I, I know some people like doing that. I can't do that. I gotta you know, <laughs> I'm constantly moving around doing things. Right. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, no, it's it's been a great chat, and uh, hopefully Mandalorian is exciting, and hopefully we see a lot of characters that we want figures for, and more importantly, mm-hmm. hopefully Hasbro uh, sees figures that they want to give us in Mandalorian. Yeah, so. and they could also give us Jar Jar Binks. They, <laughs> I was waiting for that. I knew that would come up at some point. 
Gotta have him. Gotta have him. Well, he's iconic. Know, rumors, rumors, right? I know. I love those rumors. Give him to <laughs> me. If you aren't already, subscribe to the place it all started. The Victoria's Cantina YouTube channel, where I review new toys and showcase retro toys from the past. You can also follow us for news and updates on Facebook by looking up Victoria's Cantina, toy photography on Instagram at Victoria's Cantina, and a constant drip of toy-related and other random and nonsensical tweets on Twitter at Vic's Cantina. If you're so inclined, we are on Patreon. Gain greater access to Victoria's Cantina by becoming a Patreon Cantina patron. For as little as a dollar a month, you'll help to keep the show going and also get exclusive content such as access to a private Twitter feed, early access to toy reviews, and behind the scenes featurettes. And if you can't, but you still want to help us out, one of the easiest and most helpful things you can do is leave us a review over on Apple Podcasts. It only takes a minute, so hit that five star rating and leave a note stating why you enjoy the show. It'll make us more visible on iTunes and help others to find our show. As always, I'm Victoria, and no matter where you're listening out in the galaxy, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the Cantina Chatter Podcast. <laughs>